Hi there, in this video I'm going to do a past paper question on trigonometry. So let's take a look at the question. So the question reads, solve for all of the angles x in degrees between 180 degrees and 0 degrees included the equation and part A reads sine x plus 10 degrees is equal to root 3 over 2. So let's get back to the paper and pen. So here's the equation given, sine x plus 10 degrees is equal to root 3 over 2. Now, I did a, a video on solving trigonometric equations such as these, and I'll provide a link to that video in the description below. However, let me show you how, this, uh, how to solve this uh, equation. So if your angle is not x only, I would recommend using a substitution. So what I tend to do is I let t equal x plus 10 degrees. And by using the substitution for t, I can rewrite the given equation as sine t is equal to root 3 over 2. So the idea of using a substitution is to find, or find all of the t angles first and then we'll go back to the substitution and find all of the x angles that we need later. Now looking at this trigonometric equation that we need to solve for t, I'm going to use the cast diagram. Now we have a positive sign because we have plus root 3 over 2 on the right hand side. So Let's make a note that sine is positive. So let's work out the angle that we need to plot on our cast diagram. So to work out the angle, we need the inverse sine of root 3 over 2. That is a standard result. That should give you 60 degrees. So going back to what we discussed, we need to plot 60 degrees on our cast diagram where sine is positive. So let's do that. So let's draw a quick cast diagram. Let's include the quadrants. Let's label the quadrants, so all, sine, tan and cos. And we need to plot 60 where sine is positive. So sine is positive in the first quadrant and in the second quadrant, so in the all and sine quadrants. And remember, when plotting the angle, angles are always represented from the horizontal. So from the horizontal in quadrant one, 60 degrees from the horizontal, just a rough judgment. Here's 60 degrees in quadrant number one. And from the horizontal in quadrant two, 60 degrees from the horizontal. Again, just a judgment. Here's 60 degrees in quadrant number two. Now, if we go back to the question, we need all of the angles between 180 and 0 degrees inclusive. And remember, these are the angles for x. So if we go back to the paper and pen, we're finding the angles for t first. And bearing in mind that to work out the x angles, we're going to subtract 10 degrees from the t angles. So think about it. Here is our substitution that we're using. And to work out x, if I rearrange this substitution, x will be t minus 10 degrees. So this means that once we found the t angles, we'll be subtracting 10 from these t angles to work out the x angles. So let's work out the solutions for t first. So the first solution, I'm going to name that T1. So the first solution, if I take this red pen, we need positive angles, and positive angles are measured in the anticlockwise direction. So from the zero degree line in the anticlockwise direction, until you strike that first line represented, that is 60 degrees. And let's work out another solution for T. So I'll call that T2. From the zero degree line, again in the anticlockwise direction for positive angles, until we hit that second line represented. So the angle in a straight line is 180 minus this acute angle of 60. 180 degrees minus 60 degrees is 120 degrees. So that is the second solution, T2. 
if you do a mental calculation, if you were to calculate one more solution for t, it's going to go beyond the solutions for x when it comes to the range. So if you go back to the screenshot, remember, bearing in mind that the range of angles for x, so x should lie between 180 degrees and 0 degrees, so if we go back to the paper and pen, if you were to calculate one more solution for t, so another solution will be from this zero degree line in the anticlockwise direction and to strike that first line again. So that being 360 plus 60, so 360 plus 60 is 420, but the solution for x will be 420 minus 10 and 420 minus 10 is 410, that's way beyond your range. So I'm gonna stop with these two solutions. So here are the solutions for T that I'm gonna be using, and I'll be using these to work out the solutions for X. So remember the idea, let's use this substitution, let's work out the corresponding X angles. So since, and since T is X plus 10, so as discussed, x will be t minus 10 degrees. And let's use the angle for t1. So when t1 is 60 degrees, so that means x1, according to this rearrangement, is t1 minus 10. t1 is 60 minus 10 degrees. 60 minus 10 is 50 degrees. So we have another angle for t. So when T2, T2 is 120 degrees. So X2 will be T2 minus 10, according to this rearrangement. T2, we had 120 degrees minus 10, which is 110 degrees. So we only have two solutions in this case for this very equation given in the question. So that completes uh, five part A. Now let's go back to the screenshot. So we have another equation to solve. So the equation in five part B reads cos 2x is equal to minus 0 0.9. So let's get back to the paper and pen. So here's the equation that we need to solve for part B. Cos 2x equals minus 0 0.9. Now remember, if your angle given in the equation is not x only, so my angle is 2x, so any angle other than x, I recommend using a substitution. So with this also, let me let t equal 2x. So if I let t equal 2x, this equation becomes cos t, so replacing the 2x by t, that is equal to minus 0 0.9. Now, bearing in mind that I have a minus <coughs> 0 0.9, that makes our cos negative. So we need to plot the angle for t where cos is negative, so bear that in mind. Now, what you need to do is, if you have a negative on the right-hand side, so only if you have a negative on the right-hand side, before you calculate the angle, ignore the negative. So let's ignore the negative only when calculating the angle for a negative on the right hand side so that we have cos t is plus 0 0.9 and let's work out the angle here so if we take the inverse cos of 0 0.9 inverse cos of 0 0.9 is 25.8 degrees so it's 25.8 degrees and it's 25.8 degrees to one decimal place so if we go back to the question we need our angles uh, rounded to one decimal place. Now going back to the paper and pen. So we need to plot 25.8 where cos is negative. So that is very important. So let's draw another cast diagram. Let's include quadrants. Let's label the quadrants. So all, sine, tan and cos. And we need to plot this angle of 25.8 where cos is negative. So if cos is positive in the first and fourth quadrants, cos is negative therefore in the second and third quadrants. 
So we need to plot that angle here and here. Now, angles are always represented from the horizontal. So 25.8 from the horizontal in quadrant number two is represented by this line. So here is 25.8 in quadrant number two. 25.8 also represented in quadrant number three, again from the horizontal. Here is the angle represented in quadrant three from the horizontal. Now, if we go back quickly to the screenshot, so remember, bearing in mind the range given, so we need the angles X between 180 and zero degrees inclusive, but particularly we need positive angles. So we need positive angles. So going back to the paper and pen, so positive angles, bearing in mind, again, are measured in the anti-clockwise direction from the zero degree line. So, and these are the angles for T that we're calculating. And bear it in mind, for the angles for X, we need to half the angles for T that we calculate. So if you think about it, if T is 2X, to work out X, if I rearrange, that will be T over 2. So bear that in mind when calculating the angles for T. So the first T angle will be from the zero degree line until you strike that first line. So in this case, T1 will be three, uh, 180, 180, the angle in a straight line, minus 25.8. So 180 minus 25.8, so that is 154.2 degrees. So bearing in mind, you need to divide by two later on. So that is not enough. So let's work out some more angles for T. So another one, which I'm naming T2, so let me take a green pen, is measured from the zero degree line, again in the anti-clockwise direction of positive angles until we strike that second line. So that angle will be 180, the angle in a straight line, so 180, plus 25.8 okay so let me repeat so it's going to be 180 the angle in a straight line plus 25.8 180 plus 25.8 is 205.8 degrees so remember bearing in mind you'll be dividing by two if you mentally divide these by two so that is when well within our range, which is between zero and 180 degrees for the X angles inclusive. So let me stop there. So to work out the corresponding X angles, so remember we can rearrange this substitution for X. So let's do that. So since T is equal to two X, Therefore, X when I rearrange, as you know, is T over two. So let's work out the first X angle. So when T1 is 154.2 degrees, X1 will be T1 divided by two. T1 is 154.2 divided by two and 154 Point 0.2 divided by 2 is 77.1 so it's 77.12 one decimal place so remember we need to quote our angles to one decimal place so that is required from the question don't forget we've got another angle for t so t2 so let's deal with that so when t2 that is 205.8 degrees so let me squeeze it here. X2 will be T2 divided by 2. T2 is 205.8 divided by 2. And 205.8 divided by 2 is 102.9 degrees. So again, to one decimal place as required. So that completes uh, part B. That ends the question and that sadly ends this video. I hope you found this video helpful. 
If you did find the video helpful, if you did enjoy the video, a like rating is very much appreciated. Do plenty of practice related problems and I hope to see you again. Thank you.